Today we're going to be looking at the DSP1080 laser cutter from China CNC Zone store on AliExpress. The crate that the unit arrives in is pretty big. It's custom made for uh, the package that you've bought. Uh, you need to add at least 30 centimeters on each uh, dimension of the unit to account for the crate. This was just too wide to get in my uh, workshop so I had to take the crate apart outside. Um, the unit is not on wheels inside the crate so the, the legs and the wheels are separately packaged inside the crate um, and it's very heavy there's no way even two people will be able to lift this so I got in some power machinery to lift this up and uh, the operator of this uh, little forklift uh, unit was able to slide the forklift blades just beneath the machine into the polystyrene sheet that was underneath um, we did catch a little bit on the, the rungs of the machine but they're, they're on pretty sturdy and he was able to just wiggle it and, and get under the machine to lift the whole machine up. Now this uh, forklift unit has an extendable arm which he was able to then um, extend out through the doorway to slide the, the unit in uh, above the ground into the workshop. And uh, that's what we're doing here. He's just just managed to get that through the door. We had to take the actual door off um, and, and the trimming from the frame to get it in. So this is the unit once we've got the legs and the wheels on um, and this is the, the back of the unit. We've already seen this in the video so I won't go into too much detail here. And that's the sticker on the recce laser. You can see that it's a 90 watt uh, laser there. The agreement power is 90 watts, the peak power 102 uh, watts. That's the higher voltage end and the lower voltage negative end. And that's the Ruida controller. It's actually uh, an upgraded version to the one shown in the product listing. Um, it's really, really good. It's got a lot more controls on it. It's got the uh, Z up and down for controlling the height of the table as well. Um, has more recent firmware than I could find uh, online. So it's, it's bang up to date, which is brilliant. So this is the unit that I purchased. It's got a bed size of one meter wide by 0.8 meters deep and I purchased it with the 5200 water chiller which is probably more than I need for operating in the UK especially in the winter time uh, but I wanted to use this machine quite a lot so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have any overheating problems. Let's take a look around the machine. So as you can see most of the panels are actually removable which is great for getting access to this machine. It's really easy to get into this machine. Here we've got the main controller. It's an RDC 6445G um, that's a pretty good uh, controller to have. It's compatible with systems such as Lightburn. Uh, we have a couple of power supplies in here. We've got stepper drivers, third stepper driver over there, the main power supply for the actual laser tube, and uh, a, a unit to stop the uh, electromagnetic interference as well. The wiring looks to be in very good uh, order in here, very neat. Uh, just one thing to note, these buttons here which would normally be used to raise and lower the bed. They're not connected. They're not connected simply because there's buttons to do the same thing on the actual main control panel. So this is around the back of the machine now. Uh, we've got the power supply coming in and a couple of extra power sockets built into the machine. It's normally recommended that you power all of your other systems uh, externally, um, but you know if you short on power sockets, those are available on the machine. We've also got the pipes for the water in and out that you're going to connect to uh, the chiller unit if you bought the chiller unit with yours and a pipe for the air assist. Now the air assist unit that comes with a machine, uh, that's an aquarium unit, it provides a pretty good uh, breeze. It's certainly going to keep your mirrors clean uh, but it's not really going to blow away the smoke very strongly so I'm actually upgrading mine to an external air compressor which is going to give me much more uh, blow. The uh, length of pipe that comes with the machine is not particularly long, so again I've upgraded that to a much longer unit as I need to uh, run that quite a length uh, across my workshop to get it to, uh, to vent externally. The fan is built into the machine. Uh, some other units come with more of a bouncy castle blower which can be quite noisy. This is very quiet by comparison but as a result, it's not particularly strong at extracting the fumes. So that's something else that I'm gonna be upgrading on the machine. So this is the laser tube supplied with the machine. The machine is sold as a 100 watt machine, but 
course as with most of these lasers it's not actually 100 watt this is a 90 watt recce w2 tube uh, it is capable of 100 watts at peak power but if you run it anywhere near that you're going to burn out the tube uh, very quickly uh, so check out all of the data sheets about the the recce w2 um, if you can fit a current meter on this, it's good to do that. This didn't come with a current meter. I did ask them to fit one. Unfortunately, that wasn't done. Uh, but it's not too hard to fit, and I have a you know an ammeter on the way to me that I'm gonna uh, fit into this fairly soon. Um, you should run this for a good working lifespan, around 25 milliamps, and always fit the uh, ammeter to the negative or the lower voltage side, which is this side of the tube where the laser is gonna fire out. Uh, Recce is a very good uh, quality brand, it's like the industry standard, So, and uh, it was installed when the machine arrived and it had survived the trip from China, so I'm very pleased about that. While we're on the topic of the laser tube, the alignment process on this was pretty straightforward. Um, there's lots of other videos about aligning your laser and I will be publishing my own guide fairly soon uh, to show you how to do it on this machine, so keep an eye out on my YouTube channel for that. But uh, as I said before, the side panels come off on this machine. It makes the alignment process a real breeze. So this can unscrew to get access to the first mirror as well as access from the back. And for access to the second mirror, uh, this side panel comes off and you can see you've got great access into that. It's got a lot of adjustment points, both on the mounting and on the actual uh, mirror uh, assembly itself as well. Okay, let's take a look inside the machine now. Uh, we've got the laser head over here. Um, it's also, this model is an upgraded model compared to most laser cutters. If you look at the laser head just over here, you'll see a large uh, gear wheel, and that just lets the stepper motors have a bit more precise uh, control. And you, you need that kind of control on a machine that's, that's this large. The bed has got the uh, blades uh, fitted to it at the moment. I did have to take the Dremel to these cutouts just to help get those blades in. The powder coating was a little bit too thick and, and preventing those from getting in, but that was a, a few minutes work. The bed is powered, as I mentioned before, and we can raise the bed and lower the bed with the control panel. So you see that's not gonna go anywhere uh, real fast, but you want that fine control uh, because it's used in the focusing system. You can also see that this head has uh, an autofocus uh, module fitted to it um, and you'll see that in action in a moment when I fire up the laser. So let's put the sheet of material in and get a cut going. I'm going to run the autofocus procedure now by pressing the focus button on the control panel and pressing enter and that's going to raise the bed up uh, until it pushes the switch on the, on the red attachment there. Uh, which is going to let the laser know when the material has reached the right height and then it's going to back the bed down to the appropriate focus height. And there we are, we're focused now. Uh, I'm going to send a file to it and we're going to start our cut. So here we go, you see a lot of flame coming up. Okay, so we've got our material in. Uh, we've got our air assist running. I did just try this cut, but as you probably saw in the video, I didn't have the hose hooked up and it's quite a bit of uh, smoke coming out of the surface. So really important you get that air assist hooked up. I'm going to have to clean my uh, mirrors and my lens after this just because there would have been quite a lot of smoke going up the nozzle. So get that air assist running. Um, there's meant to be a laser pointer on this unit, but uh, there wasn't one fitted. Not too much of a problem and a lot of people actually uh, take them off because they can be quite inaccurate uh, over time and different material depths. So I've used the framing feature of Lightburn to uh, have the head walk around the area that it's going to cut uh, and we're ready to go ahead and uh, run this job now. So let me go hit start and you can watch it go. I've got the lid open so that you've got a clear view. That's going to mean that the smoke extraction isn't particularly good, so you're going to see more smoke than you would normally see uh, because it's not able to suck it out of the machine because it's not getting that vacuum. Let's start the job. Okay, so the air assist makes a huge difference on this. I was running it just now without the air assist actually hooked up. I was getting a lot of flame coming up, so that air assist really keeps under control any, any flame. Uh, there was a lot of burning uh, residue on the surface of the material, so there's a lot less of that now. And the smoke was just billowing up everywhere, whereas now it's going down below 
the material. We really want to keep that smoke away from the lens and the, and the mirrors. This is running at about 60% power uh, and 50 millimeters a second. It's currently cutting three millimeter MDF material. Okay, we're done. I'm just gonna close the lid to suck out some of that smoke and I'll show you the results. Okay, so here we go. These are the, the parts that I've just cut out. This was the earlier attempt where I forgot to hook up the uh, air assist hose and you can see a lot more residue on the material and all around it. These have still got a reasonable amount of residue on them, which is why I'm going to be upgrading to the air compressor just to get a bit more oomph uh, in the air assist. Most of the bits that those settings have uh, fallen out of these, if you give them a little tap or a little push out, here's one that's, you know, you can see I've completely cleared. Uh, on the star, if we have a look at the back of it, you can see that the back is, is pretty clean. You'll see a few marks just where it was resting against the, the blades and uh, the residue uh, can't clear away. Um, that's why I'm going to be upgrading the, the bed on this uh, as well to a uh, stainless steel bed and, and put some custom mounts on that to uh, support the material and give it good clearance. And I also want to upgrade the fan to really suck away uh, the smoke and residue as well so that's all about getting uh, even cleaner cuts but as it is this is this is pretty much what you'll get from anyone who's got a laser cutter this this level of uh, deposit on it so it's pretty good I've had the machine for a couple of weeks now and I'm very happy with the machine as it comes uh, I am going to tune it as I've mentioned but uh, as it comes it's a very good laser cutter so I'd highly recommend China CNC zone store on AliExpress uh, their 1080 machine is what I bought. Um, I'll show you a couple of photos in a second of just how big that was. It was a little bit challenging to get it in my workshop, and this is a, you know, a purpose-sized workshop. Um, so those of you who are planning to have something like this in a garage, maybe think of one of the smaller 6090 or 6040 uh, machines. They're probably a better fit. Depends on what size material you want to cut, of course. So overall, very happy with this machine. Uh, great service from the team. And thank you for watching.